guys welcome back to my channel and this is Mukesh Kumar and today I come up with a new topic that is auto layout as per the requirement of my viewers so let's get started with the layout auto layout in Xcode 8 version so what is basically auto layout auto layout is basically a concept which can be implemented or can be used for laying out the UI elements using constraints in your iOS applications. So for that we have some components of auto layout like first I have constraints, second size classes and trade collections. So in this video I will only cover up the constraints just because of the short timings and in the next video I will discuss about the size classes and the trade collections. So just go back and create new Xcode project by clicking here and under iOS I will choose the single view application and product name I am giving auto layout demo click on next and just create it right after that what we need to do as usual we go to the main dot storyboard so just go to that file and here I have view controller now I need to take one UI element let's say I'm taking button or you can take any of the element and I am placing it at the center Let's change its text color and some background color. Text color to white and background color is let's say some blue color. Right. Now, what I want to show you that I have taken this object at the center in iPhone 7. So, will it be at the center in other devices? Let's check it out. So, by clicking on this, we can check the preview on other devices select this preview and click on this option using option button do remember i'm pressing option key by clicking on this option so just click on this and then we have preview like so in iphone se it is not at the center it is at the center in iphone 7 because i'm using the view of iphone 7 here and in iPhone 7 plus again it is not at the center that's why we need auto layout and constraints so let's get started with the constraints so this is the auto layout bar using this bar we have multiple options like as you can see we have five option buttons first is the update frames to update update this frame this view will be treated as frame and embed in stack stack in itself a big topic which will be discussed in later videos next we have align button so by clicking on this button we have options like horizontally in container and vertically in container this is our container and Horizontal means that is the X position which is 0 and the Y position vertically that is also 0. And next we have add new constraints button. By clicking on this we have like width, height, equal width, equal heights, aspect ratios. And here we can pin our UI element or the object from top, bottom, left, right. Like we will check in our example, I'm just introducing this first. And last we have update constraints. So here we have two partitions like one is selected view and another is all views in container. So these options will be applied on selected item that is selected view. And all these options will work on all the views without selecting. Right so we need to be very careful using these options so let's select this button and 
click on this add new constraints i'm setting its high and width means width and height and i'm taking the width as 100 add two constraints now what does this red line means this red line means some constraints some more constraints are missing so what are these constraints that is x and y we need to set x or y constraints also so by clicking on this align button we need to set x or y position to zero means that is the exact center position add two constraints so blue lines means you have successfully applied the constraints now again check the preview that it is showing at the center or not yes we have the button at the center in iphone se 7 and 7 plus as well so this is about auto layout bar another option i have that is drag method drag method is like if i am dragging using control button sorry like this so when i release the button it will show some of the options like vertical spacing to top layout guide center vertical and container equal widths equal heights aspect ratios so let's discuss about first what is top layout guide and other options so just click on this button and we have this view controller scene here we can see view controller is having two layout guides one is top and the second is bottom so top is the covered area of the battery sign and the bottom layout guide is the bottom portion and apart from these options we call it this is the leading from left and this is the trailing from right so we will uh, see such type of names like I'm adding one more button in this case we can have that options like I'm placing it here and if I drag it using the control button and release so it is showing the vertical spacing to top layout guide means I want to set the constraints from the top layout guide that is vertically right and if I want to set it at the bottom and drag it to the bottom portion it is showing the vertical spacing to bottom layout guide right and I can also show you the left and the right distance so pressing control button release to left which is showing leading space to container margin means you are you want to give the constraints from left portion and if you do the same thing to the right it is showing the trailing space i hope you got my point the terms now what i want to do is i want to set the constraints of width and height same as this button so using the control button just drag it to that ui element so when you do this we can have the option equal width and height so by shift by pressing shift key we can choose multiple options like so and in my case i am choosing two options and two more options that is x and y so y will be my vertical spacing means the distance between these two and the center horizontally means the x position will be zero that is center and at the last by releasing shift key i can add constraints so it is showing now the orange neither the red nor the blue color it is showing orange color orange color means we have set the constraints but we need to update the frames so as i have told you first button is update frame so when i clicked on this button it will get updated like so and apart from this in such cases if you want to change constraints values in this case what you will do so you can change the value or you can remove the value from the scene as you can see first button we have in this i can see the width and height values 
and the other constraints that is for x and y position we can have under the constraints so like I want to change the height from 30 to 40 so when I click on this its values will be shown on the right hand side so this constant value is 30 and I'm changing it to 40 and when I press the enter it will get updated and I can also remove by pressing delete button right so from here you can change your constraints and let's check it out on the simulator so run the simulator from here so this is our simulator and we have two buttons aligned at the center and one is uh, at the down from this so why we have run this in the simulator to see the orientation in the landscape this is the portrait orientation and I want to see it in on the landscape so I want to rotate this screen so using the command button and left or right arrow key we can rotate the screens like so so it is again showing at the center right so coming back and stop the simulator and I'm deleting this button because I want to sh show you some more thing uh, the constraints I have given here oh, I have deleted the height we need to set it we need to set its height constraint again like so and the width I have given this is the constant value means this is the constant width in some cases we need the dam dynamic width like I'm just showing you just del delete this width constraints by selecting here or from here you can select the constraint like this is again compressed to default size and now what I need to do is I want to pin it from left and right so I need to click on this button and then from left I'm giving the value like 40 and from right hand side also I'm taking the 40 right and add the two constraints it will automatically get updated right so what I want to show you let's run it and check it out so this is our button and in this case the width size is not constant so let's see how I can check just rotate the screen using command and left or right arrow like so means it is maintaining the width from left that is 40 and from right is also 40 so in such cases we like such buttons just come back in the portrait so this is the video only about the constraints in the next video I'll come up with the size classes and the trade collections so I hope this video is very helpful to you if you want to read about this auto layout you can read my blog I have mentioned the link for the auto layout blogs in the description below and thank you guys thank you for watching this video and don't forget to like and subscribe my channel till then bye bye see you in the next video wherever i go wherever i see i'll remember you if you remember